What's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to talk about how to make gold and diamond custom rings for your jewelry business. We're going to be making this 14 karat rose gold star ring. And what I want to talk about in this video is making custom galleries for your rings. I'm going to show you the complete process of how to make them from getting the 3D designs to printing the 3D waxes to casting and finishing the ring. We're going to do a price breakdown and also talk about how much you should sell these for. Let's get right into it. So we're going to download the ring STL file from cgtrader.com. As you guys already know, this is the number one website for anything that has to do with 3D jewelry files and finding jewelry designers jewelry files are very cheap let's download the files and here are the two stl files right here so why would we want to make a ring that has a gallery well there are two reasons first if we were to make this ring without a gallery wearing it for a prolonged period of time would be very uncomfortable so adding a gallery will make the ring wearable and two without the gallery the ring just looks cheap so adding a gallery to a ring makes the ring look better and we don't have to make it solid because if we make the ring solid it will be too heavy the next thing that we have to do is print the wax so we can cast it into a precious metal. To do this, we will need a 3D resin printer. The best and easiest printer to use is the Mars Elegoo series of printers. It doesn't matter which model you use. I'm going to be using the standard Mars Elegoo 3 3D printer in this video. This printer only costs $200. It's amazing that you can get a printer like this for that price. We're also going to be using castable resin. For this video, I'll be using the Power Resins Dark Resin. This resin does really good if you're going to make sharp and fine detailed waxes. Shake up the resin before printing so it mixes well, and pour about a third of resin into the tank. Before we do anything, we have to go into the Cheeto Box app that comes with the Mars printer and prepare the file for printing. All right guys, so we're gonna open up the Cheeto Box app, and now let's go ahead and import the file. Import the first part, and let's import the gallery. So right here we see both parts of the ring. Now the first thing that we have to do is slightly increase the size of the ring by about 2%. We're using the Power Resins Dark Resin and the resin does shrink a little bit. So let's select the ring, click scale, and change this to 102. Now let's select the gallery, click scale, and change this to 102 as well. And the next thing that we have to do is add supports. Again, select the ring, click on supports, make sure medium is selected, and click plus all. As you guys can see, the program added the supports. Let's take a quick look, and everything looks perfect. Go back, select the gallery. Now we're gonna add supports to the gallery, but we're gonna add them to the top part of the gallery, the part that goes inside the ring. This way is gonna be less work for the polisher, and the end result is gonna come out cleaner. The less work the polisher has, the less money you're gonna spend. Click rotate, plus 45, just like that. Click add supports, click plus all, everything looks good. Go back, and here we have both of our files, and they're ready to be printed. Click slice, and save the file. Click save. Drag the file into the USB drive, connect the drive and print the file. The next step is to prime our build plate. This is something that is very important to do if you want to get flawless prints. Simply take the Power Resins Primer and apply a very thin coat on the plate. Even it out with a yellow spatula. Don't put too much on. If you put too much, remove any excess primer. Make sure you have an even, very thin coat. Go ahead and insert the USB drive into the printer and hit print. The printer is going to start printing and the amount of time that it's going to take depends on how tall the file is. It's better to print many waxes at once because the time it takes to print will be the same. As you guys see, it's going to take about 5 hours to print these waxes. When the waxes are done printing, the build plate is going to rise up and we're going to unscrew it. And here's what our prints look like. They both came out flawless. Next, we're going to take some alcohol and let them soak in alcohol for a few minutes. That's going to cure the resin. Take the same yellow spatula and push on the wax. After that, we're going to wash it out thoroughly with warm water and let them dry. Next, we're going to take the clippers that came with the printer and clip the supports. Make sure you don't pull on the supports because it's going to make a hole in the wax. If you do, it's no big deal, but it's better not to. Go ahead and clip everything, and here you guys see the finished wax. Ignore the stone in the ring, I just put that in there to check the hole sizes are correct. Remember, never buy stones until the piece is casted. Now we're going to do the same thing with the gallery, clip everything carefully, don't pull on anything, and we're done. We're going to cast this in 14 karat rose gold. Rose gold is made when copper is mixed with gold and a few other alloys, but there's more copper than the other alloys. Here's the casted piece. You guys see it came out pretty good. I did pull on some of the supports and you can see the holes here. And as you guys see, it weighs 19.84 grams. The next thing that we have to do is get this piece polished and finished. It's going to cost us a little bit more to do that because the gallery will be soldered onto the ring. So you're going to pay around $30 to do this. And here's the polished piece. As you guys see, the holes are polished off and everything looks good. Any imperfections, such as the little porosity on the star, will be fixed after diamonds are set. The next step is to set diamonds. You're going to pay a dollar per stone because the ring already has holes and prongs. This ring has 263 stones and is going to have 3.31 carats of diamonds. If we buy diamonds at $400 a carat, that's $1,324 worth of diamonds. And it's going to cost us $263 to set the stones. So let's break down how much it costs us to make this ring. So 19.84 multiplied by $38 a gram 
That's $753.92. The ring now weighs 17.64 grams. So we lost about 2 grams after polishing the ring. Plus $30 for labor. Plus $263 to set stones. Plus $1,324 for diamonds. So the cost to make a ring like this is approximately $2,371. And since this ring has diamonds, you should sell it for around double what it costs you to make it. Now, of course, when you guys are first starting your jewelry business, you should not sell pieces like this. And you should definitely not start your jewelry business selling products like this. When you're first starting out, only make cheap products that cost you a couple hundred dollars to make. You only make pieces like this when you already have a huge business with a lot of inventory. And if you guys want to learn how to start a jewelry business, be sure to check out my course, which is under the video. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please hit the like button, subscribe. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments below. I'll see you guys on the next video.